What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you that goes through multiple fixes to try and get your Valorant anti-cheat to work properly so you can get past this error over here. What exactly do I mean? Well, simply starting up Valorant over here, you'll see that as soon as the game starts up, it'll ask me to restart my computer to get the anti-cheat to work properly. Now, this is rather annoying because this is the third time I've restarted my PC and I'm still getting this error over here. In my previous video showing you how to get a Valorant key outside of the EU, US, my crosshair video, etc, etc, the comments were rather full with people saying that they've restarted their PC multiple times, yet they're still having this issue happen to them. Why is it happening? Well, this is the error over here. And it just says Vanguard Anti-Cheat is not installed, yet it is. I played it once already and I'm getting this error today. How exactly do we go ahead and fix it? It says that it's not installed, but it actually is. What you need to do is press start and type in uninstall. Then click on control panel and then under programs, click uninstall a program. Now inside of here, typing in VA and looking for Vanguard, you won't find anything but Valorant. In fact, it's called Riot Vanguard. So look for Riot Vanguard. And once you found it, simply double click on it and click yes when prompted for admin. Then it'll say this will completely uninstall Riot Vanguard. Simply hit yes. Then we'll wait for the uninstall to complete, which may take a few minutes. You'll see something like this pop up, which means that the uninstall is complete. If we refresh the list by clicking the refresh button at the very top, search for Riot Games, you'll see that the Riot Vanguard is now missing. Great, so now we've uninstalled the anti-cheat. Then we'll open up command prompt by pressing start and typing in CMD. We'll right click on command prompt, run as admin, click yes when prompted for admin, and then we'll type in SC space delete space VGC, enter, and we'll type SC space delete space VGK and press enter. Then you'll need to go ahead and restart your computer completely, though keep this window open over here. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Then now that we've uninstalled Riot Vanguard, let's go ahead and delete the Vanguard files itself. So I'll open up a file explorer with start E. Then I'll head across to this PC, C drive, program files, not 86. And then I'll scroll down until I see Riot Vanguard. All you need to do is go ahead, select it and press delete. Hit yes if prompted for admin. And now that that's done, let's go ahead and try to restart the game. So starting up Valorant once again, I'll hit yes when prompted for admin and you'll see installing Riot Vanguard. Once it's complete, you'll see that the folder over here now has Riot Vanguard in it once again, and this time it should be fully installed. Upon pressing play, waiting for the game to start up, it will most likely ask us to go ahead and restart our computer once again. Now, of course, this does seem like a lot of effort compared to normal anti-cheats. Well, this new Valorant Riot Vanguard anti-cheat is rather an invasive one, so it does take quite a bit of effort to fix issues if you do run into them. Hopefully they get this patched out or change the way that it works entirely so we don't have to go through so much effort to fix issues. Then let's go ahead and restart one last time. So now that I've done a clean restart once again, let's go ahead and open up an administrative command prompt once again. Press start and type in CMD. Then we'll right click on it, run as admin and we'll click yes when prompted for admin. Then once this window opens, I'll be typing in a BCD edit, one word, space minus set, space test signing space off all of those in capital test signing off i'll hit enter and then i'll type in bcd edit space minus set space all in capitals no integrity checks space off i'll hit enter and once that's done we'll go ahead and close out of this and restart our computer once again now that we've restarted yet again Let's go ahead and try to open up the game another time. Hopefully this time things work as expected. And of course, I'm still having issues. So what exactly do we do now? Well, some of the other suggestions are checking Windows Update for new updates. And of course, if there's nothing new there, then there's a couple of few last things that we can try. This last one is going to involve re-downloading the entire game. Luckily, currently in its beta state, it's rather small, so it should be easy enough to re-download. But of course, we're going to clear absolutely everything related to Vanguard and Riot off of our computer. So first of all, press start and type in control. We'll open up control panel and then we'll see this. Go to uninstall a program under programs 
and we're going to look for Valorant. Double click on it, this will open up, and it says game has been successfully uninstalled. We'll click on the list once again and type in RIO, and we'll see Riot Vanguard. Double click on it, click yes when prompted for admin, and click yes once again. Now we're uninstalling Vanguard. Then we'll go ahead and refresh the list after a short while, type in Riot again, and see if it's still there. If not, great. Then we'll go ahead and open up our explorer with start and E. Then we've got a couple of folders that we need to visit. So I'll go to this PC, C drive, and then program files. Inside of here, we'll look for Riot, and if we don't see a Riot Games folder, then great. We'll also look for Valorant if that's here, and it's not. So we'll go back a folder, program files 86, Riot once again, and there's nothing related to that here. Valorant, nothing related, we'll go back. Then at the very top, we'll type in the search bar and we'll type in percentage app data, percentage, and hit enter. We'll look for Riot as well as Valorant here. There's nothing, so we'll go back a folder. Then we'll go into local, we'll look for Riot, and as you can see, we have a Riot Games folder over here. We have install Valorant, Riot Client, and Valorant over here. I'll simply just select the folder, shift delete, and then hit enter. Then I'll also look for Valorant, and that's not here either. Next up, at the very top, I'll click in the search bar once again, type in percent, program data, percentage, and hit enter. Then I'll be looking for Riot Games, and if we find it, I'll go ahead and select the folder, shift delete, enter. Same with Valorant, though that's not listed here. Then if you installed the game to a different hard disk, we'll need to go ahead and have a look there. I personally install it on my E drive over here under Riot Games. You can see Riot Client, and we have all of these files over here. I'll simply select the Riot Games folder that I installed it in, shift delete, and enter. Then we'll be heading across into the Windows directory. So I'll go to C, followed by Windows, and hopefully you'll see this folder over here. If you don't see this Windows folder, at the very top, go to View, and make sure you have Hidden Items, as well as File Name Extensions, both checked. Then we'll go into Windows, followed by Prefetch, hit Enter if prompted for Admin, and we'll be looking for both Valorant, as you can see, Valorant EXE, Valorant 164. I'll select both of them, Shift Delete, and Enter. Then I'll also be typing in Riot, and we'll be having a look for Riot Client. We'll select all of them, Shift Delete, Enter. Then finally, we'll go ahead and run those command prompt commands that we ran earlier. So start, CMD, right click, run as admin, and then hit yes when prompted for admin. Then inside of here, we'll be typing in SC, space delete, space VGC, Enter. And if you see this, then it's already uninstalled, as well as SC, delete, space VGK, enter. And if you see this as well, then it's already uninstalled, which is good. Now that we've made sure that there's not a single trace of Vanguard, Valorant, or Riot Games on our computer, all that's left to do is to reinstall the game. However, first, I would highly recommend restarting your PC once again. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So now that I've gone through all of that, I'll go ahead and open up my downloads folder and I'll be running the installer that I downloaded earlier today. If prompted for admin, simply hit yes and then click install, but I'm gonna hit advanced options and choose a different place to install it. I'll put it on my E drive, okay, and install. Now we just need to wait for this to finish downloading. There we go, once it's downloaded, there's a shortcut on my desktop and the launcher starts up. Then we'll be prompted to log in, so go ahead and do that with an account that has the Valorant key on it already. We're prompted for admin, so I'll hit yes, and we see this over here. So it's installing Vanguard, and it's re-downloading the game from scratch. Then we'll click play, and we'll be prompted to restart our computer once the game eventually starts up. And I'll go ahead and restart. Hopefully things work better now. And of course, here's the part where you pray that things work properly. If you've reached this point and your game still doesn't work after launching it yet again, then you're pretty much out of luck. Unfortunately, you've tried basically every fix under the sun that currently exists. If you do find any more, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I, of course, have been having the issue up until this point. Hopefully, an entire clean restart and uninstall of everything related to Riot Games, Vanguard, and Valorant work properly. If it doesn't, then I have no idea. Putting in my username and password, hopefully for the last time, let's see if it works properly. And of course, I'm one of the unlucky ones. 
I'll still be publishing this video. I won't just scrap it entirely because hopefully one of the fixes in this work for you from what I've seen on Reddit and multiple different posts, these fixes have worked. What we'll do is we'll boot up Windows into safe mode and we'll see if we can reinstall the Vanguard software from there. Booting it into safe mode means that third party drivers and the rest aren't being run. So of course, uninstalling Vanguard should leave us a little bit more lucky. So let's go ahead and try that. So basically what we need to do is hold start and press R. Then inside of here, I'll be typing in MS config. I'll hit enter and you'll see this window pop up over here. I'll head across to the boot tab. I'll make sure to check safe boot and then I'll click on minimal so that absolutely the fewest things load as possible. Of course, I won't be able to record myself rebooting into the state, but I think actually recording in the state will be possible. So I'll see you there now. Of course, when you're done with this, make sure to open up this window again inside of safe mode and disable this option over here. So I'll go ahead and restart now. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to record what I did inside of safe mode. Basically, what I did is the same uninstalling Vanguard trick I did earlier. So start, uninstall, control panel, followed by uninstall a program, and then looking for Riot Vanguard. Now, of course, because we were running in safe mode back then, uninstalling this worked without issue. There wasn't an error. There wasn't anything happening to my PC. It worked properly. And these leftover files here inside of program files, Riot Vanguard, were working just fine as well. So, of course, let's see if this is now working properly. And let's go ahead and try to play it once again. And of course, that doesn't work either. So there's another fix that we can go ahead and try. Hold start, press R and type in services.msc. Hit enter and you'll see this window over here open up. Go ahead and make sure it's sorted alphabetically from A through Z by clicking this up here. Click anywhere and type in VG. Then we'll find VGC. This is Riot Vanguard's VGC.exe anti-cheat. Double click on it to bring up this window and change startup type from manual to automatic. Apply, OK. Then once we've done that, I'll go ahead and close out of this and I'll try to restart my PC once again. Then there's another fix that we can go ahead and try. Find the Valorant icon on your desktop or press start and search for it. Right click and then go open file location and you should be taken to the Riot Games folder where you have it installed. Riot client, Riot client services should be highlighted. I'll go back a folder and open up Valorant live. And then I'll go ahead and double click on shooter game. Then I'll go binaries and I'll find Win64, double click and open it. Then you'll see Valorant Win64 shipping, right click, properties. Then head across to the compatibility tab, check disable full screen optimization and check run this program as the administrator. Hit OK and close out of this folder. Then I'll open up the game once again and hopefully this time it works a bit better. So basically, that just means that I'm out of luck. I've tried basically every fix under the sun. Now, of course, instead of leaving this video and not uploading it at all, I'm still going to choose to upload it because hopefully it'll help one of you. From what I've seen on the Reddit posts and threads and forums, these fixes that I've showed you in this video have worked for probably 75% of the people that get these issues. And of course, if it didn't work for you, well, then you're just out of luck. Like me, until the game finally comes out, Either way, all that aside, I don't really enjoy this game that much, so I'm not too upset by missing it. But hey, it is what it is. Anyways, if you do find a fix that works, please do make sure to leave it down in the comments below and get the word out there for what worked for you if I didn't show it already in this video. Hey, maybe it'll even work for me. Either ways, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you have more luck than me throughout this video. You probably would have stopped watching after about a minute and a half if you got your fix by then. Otherwise, if you sat through all of this, I do apologize for wasting your time. Either ways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.